Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. Well, they got the power back on, so. <sighs> yeah, it was a long night, that's for sure. Had a great big huge, and I mean a huge tree across the street. Tumble over and smash. <laughs> Oh, Pisces. <clears throat> El has. Ah. So, El has indicates of feeling some sort of insecurity, Pisces. You could be feeling insecure about something. El has in the upright is protection. I'm not saying there's, there's, it just feels that you're, it just feels like you're, um, Feeling vulnerable or something at this time. So what's going on with Pisces? Hmm. Righto. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to pull another rune on this, but you know, Pisces, Rito is, is talking about your ride. It's talking about transportation. It's talking about <clears throat> travel. Yeah, so maybe some of you may need to travel. Maybe you're planning a trip or, or, you're, or you're going to be traveling. When it's in the upright, it's, it's, it's good news. I mean, <clears throat> it's, when it's in the upright, I don't see any problems if you need to travel, I don't see any problems whatsoever. You could be feeling insecure about something, but as far as travel goes, it looks good. It's a good time to travel. Um, and Rido is also talking about not just travel, but enjoying the trip. And this doesn't necessarily also have to do with, you know, physically traveling. It can also indicate, you know, forward movement, you know, some sort of movement forward in something. <clears throat> and when it's in the upright, it's positive, so, which it is. <laughs> Ooh, and the see now look at this. We have El has right here. El has <clears throat> is protection. So you're protected, Pisces. You're feeling insecure about something, but it's I, I really don't feel it's really much of anything. I mean to worry about, I mean. I mean, I know it, it is something because it's there. I didn't mean it wasn't really much of something. I just mean it's it's not much of something to really worry about, I don't think. Because everything looks really good so far. And so what else is going on here with Pisces? Isa. Isa. Okay. <clears throat> so, Isa is right here in the uh, number four slot. This would be like um, either what's going on about the situation or about the situation or some sort of advice about the situation. And the advice of Isa is to keep going and not give up. That's the advice of Isa. Things may be feeling like they're moving really slow right now. But the thing about Isa is, Pisces, that Isa is, um, <clears throat> is, it's like slow wins the race. It's a precursor to victory, which is very good news. It's a precursor to victory. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't give up. Keep moving forward. Right, oh, I see you are. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> oh, we have uh, Iwas. 
So you may be feeling insecure about um, some sort of travel. You know, Iwas here is talking about travel. And I see Rido in there. Rido's talking about travel. <clears throat> the difference between Iwas and Rido is Iwas can be also talking about uh, partnerships. Um, somebody that you love, somebody you trust, a, a close friend. Uh, you could be, you know, worried about them. <clears throat> you could be worried about somebody that, you know, about somebody. Somebody that you trust and somebody you love. Yeah. So that's what you're probably worried about. Um, the good news here is, oh, Pisces, you're protected. Slow wins the race. And, you know, it's a good time to travel if you're going to travel. What else is going on with Pisces? Mm. <clears throat> so you have Fehu. <clears throat> okay, so Fehu is, um, this is dipping into somebody else's energy. However, it's still, it's still an impression on us. And when Fehu is in reverse, it's talking about money that's, 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 that's lost. It's like, it's like money that's lost or something. Um, Thank goodness this is not directly in our energy. This is coming off of somebody else. This is just probably talking about who the person you're dealing with um, is broke. <clears throat> Either that or sick. Somebody could be ill. What's going on with Pisces? Mm, so get Jera. Well, Jera is Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with somebody with Virgo in their chart. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be, but you know, you could be dealing with somebody that has Virgo in their chart. They may be they may be ill, Pisces. Um, or they could be broke. Or they could be both. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um <clears throat> The thing about uh, Jera here is this is this is a, a form of light, and it's also um, so it's something. This person is going to tell you something. Yeah, maybe they're going to tell you that they're ill, or that they're or that they're broke. Huh. Let's get another room. It's kind of tricky when I'm reading them coming, I'm reading them coming this way and I haven't got over here yet. It's kind of interesting how I do, how I can't really describe it. I'm trying to be able to explain it to you, but <laughs> when I was Pisces. <clears throat> Anzus. Hmm. Well, Anzus is good news. Anzus is uh, Anzus is usually talking about. Looks like my evil eye is covering up everything. <laughs> so Anzus here is is good news. Usually, it could it could pertain to something that you do for um, for your money, Pisces. This is good news. So, you know, we're talking about somebody else's um, energy here. They want to share some something with you. This is talking about information of all forms. And since I'm looking at it from this point of view instead of this point of view, it's kind of a little bit different. So what I'm, what I'm feeling off of this is um, that this is like... A <clears throat> some sort of communication from this person. Yeah. 
this this person is going to contact you. This is some sort of communication. This is probably um, either in person or a telephone call. <clears throat> it can be any kind of communication, however, Pisces. Um, it could be an email or a text too, but um, it may it may start off as a text. Uh, it may start off as a text and end out in some sort of a um, conversation. Hmm. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Inguas, hmm, Inguas. So, <clears throat> Inguas is is very very positive. It's it's uh, I mean it's like a wow. <clears throat> it's procreative energy, and whatever it is, you're uh, you're a little bit insecure about this, right? Not only are you worried about somebody that you that you trust and you care about, but this other person over here, um, there's something here that you feel um, standoffish about, possibly. I'm not saying that, because you are protected, Pisces. You are protected. <clears throat> hmm. All right, so what else is going on with Pisces? Oops. Dropping these cards all over the place. What's going on with Pisces? The moon. Huh. This could be something that uh, you don't see, Pisces, you know, with the moon. The moon is... Uh, but it's also really, the moon is really good too, um, you know. I see Othala here. You know, these runes kind of help give a little bit of things away too. You know, I see, I see for number one that you're protected because you've got, you've got Elhaz right there. See Elhaz? So you're protected. And this is in our energy right here. This is straight up our energy. <clears throat> so we are protected maybe feeling a little bit vulnerable, okay? And whoever this uh, person here that you're, that you're uh, worried about could be a family member. So maybe you might want to give a family member a call or something if you're worried about them. Maybe there's something that you're worried about them. That's why the moon is there. There's something you don't know. So pick up the phone and call and see. You know, that, that, that could be it, too. <clears throat> what else is going on? Or either that or they're going to contact you. Somebody's going to contact you. I feel that this, you know, this could be... Um, it's a possibility, Pisces, that this could be two different people. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Going on with Pisces. Seven of <clears throat> the seven of uh, pentacles, or seven of shields, I should say. So you know, I like the seven of shields. You know, um, it has something to do with 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 your money, Pisces. This definitely has something to do with your money. Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe somebody had made a wrong choice in their money, uh, but the the good news here is that you know we're coming out victorious. We have Tiwas right there. That's victory and success. So whatever choice you know. You know, it, this could have been a, a bad choice for somebody. 
<clears throat> it could have been a, a bad financial choice that they made if they're not ill. Yeah. The good news here is, is, you know, Jared also is talking about a breakthrough like I was talking about. Well, T-Wise right there is talking about a breakthrough and it's talking about a victory. <clears throat> what else is going on with Pisces? Did you guys also notice, I got to bring this up. Yesterday, we had the same time, okay? And, you know, it's really weird because it was like for the past three days, yesterday, the day before, and the day before that, my videos were the exact same amount of time which just blows my mind. And you know, I don't, 48, 48 minutes and 41 seconds. How do I do that? I don't, <laughs> it's just, it's really weird. And you know, the angel number of 48, 41 is talking about working together. So I'm feeling that, you know, maybe there's something here that you're going to have to work together with somebody, Pisces. Um, yeah. But that just kind of weirded me out because I thought, now, wait a minute. 40, because I'll put like the angel number at the end of the, you know, when I put up the, the video. And it, it just, I'm like, wait, did I put the right video up? <laughs> Yeah, for the past three days, it just blows my mind. What else is going on with Pisces? King of Wands. Wow. Well, the King of Wands is really good energy, Pisces. Um, the King of Wands is someone that um, is someone that doesn't give up. This uh, with, with King of Wands you know, gets what he wants. And he's got uh, Ingwise right there. You might not be able to see it, but Ingwise is, um, is this is Ingwise. That's very, very potent, powerful energy. That's interesting. Why is the King of Wands there? The ten, ah, the ten of pentacles, huh? This is, this is like some sort of fire sign. This is like, uh, this is, this is like some sort of a fire sign. It could be like Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries, huh? Ten of Pentacles, it's got, it's got Elhaz on here in reverse, you know, feeling insecure, worried about something. But this could have to do with your family, Pisces. Yeah. Now, I noticed that this boat is moving forward, right, with Rido right there. So, you know, I feel that this is our energy. I really do. I, I feel that this is our energy. Now, we could be dealing with somebody from our past as well. Um, because I look at the bottom of the deck and I see the six, six, of, uh, six of horns, six of cups. Um, but, yeah, the thing about this is, though, Pisces... You could be feeling insecure here, but look at Nathis. Nathis is lacking. This is a lacking. And, you know, with Fehu in reverse, it's talking about, you know, money going out, lacking, right? The good news is, is that, look at, 
our back is turned to that. Our back is turned to lacking. Our back, we're still moving forward and our back is turned on lacking. We feel a little, little insecure because we could be having to step out of our comfort zone. And things over here maybe seem like they're going really slow with Isa a bit, but Isa is always a precursor to victory. And like I said, the King of Wands, he goes for what he wants. So Pisces, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're almost there. <laughs> you're almost there. I really like this. And, you know, and whatever this uh, difficult situation here is, uh, this difficult situation with, with money, it's, it's breaking through. I see abundance coming, Pisces. I see, I see a lot of abundance coming. I do. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get one of these cards out here, too. <clears throat> then we'll get into the birthday runes. Isn't that a trip about... I mean, how do I... How do you do that? 48 minutes and 41 seconds every single time. And I didn't plan that. I don't know how that... It's just... It's really weird. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that from anybody, really. And I, it's not like I tried to do it. I just, I don't know. It's just kind of, it means something. I know that. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. <clears throat> Show the world the real you, Pisces. Yeah. And you, you, that's exactly what you're doing right now with this King of Wands. <laughs> you know, that fiery energy, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed that reading. I'm going to get over here into the birthday runes now. And Pisces, we have um, three different birthday runes for our birthdays. Um, the first uh, birthday rune we have here is Tiwaz. And Tiwaz, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> the first birthday rune here we have is Soilo. Man, I'm out of it. <laughs> and Soilo is for Pisces born... February uh, 19th to February 27th. So if you're born between those dates, that's going to be your rune. The next rune we have here is for Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is um, for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born on that date, any of those dates, that's your rune. And then finally, we have Barkana. And that's for Pisces born um, March 15th to March, tw March 15th to March 20th. All right, Pisces? All right, so let's see what's going on with us. All right, so this is for Pisces, born February 19th to February 27th. Wow. I keep turning it around and turning it around and... It's the blank rune, Pisces, the blank rune. And so, you know, the blank rune is, um, it's either a decision or it's just, it just gives you the freedom to, you know, to write your own story, pretty much, see? Maybe there's nothing else to say. Huh. Let's, well, there's always something else to say. We're gonna find out, I'm gonna pull. I'm going to pull one of these out. These are called the Awarm Runes. These are from Ireland and Scotland, or that area, uh, way before it was Ireland and Scotland. Um, these runes actually predate, um, they predate, uh, you know, the Roman Empire. So they're kind of old. The, I have the original old ones, but I don't have the full set, so I use the, the cards. You can see them better anyway. So what's going on with Pisces? Born February 19th to February 27th. Ah, a manacle. A manacle. Yeah, what's going on with the manacle? <clears throat> A manacle is talking about something about um, medicine, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, a manacle. 
this is the witch hazel. And if it's the witch hazel, somebody asked me a long time ago, is that the witch hazel I think it is? And I, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. But anyhow, uh, the meaning of this is the need to uh, cleanse or purify disease or negative energy. Okay, so what it's talking about is it's, it's the ability to protect and improve our physical and, and mental health. So it's also talking about taking care of your health, Pisces, all right? And also, you know, smudging, uh, taking salt baths. You know, I use um, Palo Santo, that works great, and salt baths too. And I do that, you know, every day. Every day I, every day I do the, um, every day, pretty much. Let me see here. Um, a manacle symbolizes our need to improve our health and cleanse negative energies. And manacle emphasizes the importance of this process of getting rid of disease and negativities and reminds us of the vital process of this you know of how important how important it is to do this so yeah it's like i said you know somebody could be um you know could be ill and maybe you can help them pisces yeah maybe you can help them especially if you're into herbs and things like that you know and i'll tell you what man those herbs they do wonders you know they do What's going on with Pisces? Here, I want to grab one of these other. I want to grab one of these other um, cards. Are there? <laughs> one of the shadow cards here. Now that one wanted to come out. Defensive. Unconscious resistance to facing unresolved issues. Explore, explore them with curiosity. Ooh, interesting. Unconscious, unconscious resistance to facing unresolved issues. Explore them with curiosity. Hmm. I think that's kind of deep. What else is going on here with Pisces? Or March, I mean February nineteenth to February twenty seventh. Perseverance, perseverance. See, look at this. Isa. <laughs> Slow wins the race. Perseverance, right there. Whoops. You have the power within yourself to conquer any challenge and come out stronger on the other side. Trust your resilience and your ability to persevere. Wow. Awesome. I like it. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's see, what else? Um, hmm. Guess I'll get one of these. One of these witch rooms. What's going on with Pisces? One February 19th. To February 27th. Crossroads. Crossroads. Huh. So I like the crossroads. So let's find the crossroads. There it is right there. <clears throat> the crossroad rune signifies choices, opportunities, and the potential for new directions like like path like divining paths at a crossroad. It represents the freedom to choose our own destiny and explore different avenues in life. Well wow, now look at that. The blank room. <laughs> wow. That's a trip. 
Well, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed that part of your reading. And I'm going to get over here into T-Wise and we'll see what's going on with you guys. All right. So what's going on here with T-Wise? All right. What's going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th? Nathis, Nathis, Nathis is a, is a root of lacking Pisces, um, but I don't really see anything lacking here in the read. So, you know, this is also learning. And so I feel that a lot of you could be learning something. All right. I really don't feel anything lack on this. Let's pull a, um, let's pull one of these, uh, a warm runes out and see what else for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. Okay. Um, I'm going to, <laughs> I have to look in the book to see how to pronounce that. I, some of them I just got down and I, I, I the reason I kind of went like that is because I should know what that is, but it's like on the tip of my tongue. Ia, there we go. That's why I had such, I was going, because I, I know this rune <laughs> so, so well. All right, so this is the yew tree Pisces, all right? And the meaning of it is uh, it represents lineage, history, aging, Dying transitions thoughts and memory. Ia represents wisdom and strength that we've inherited from our ancestors. All right. Aging is something to be celebrated, and not feared. Not everybody is lucky enough to have gray hair, and it is something to be really grateful for. Ia is also a fantastic representation of the cycle of nature, and it connects back to the first a warm, which is bet, and that represents joyful beginnings. So, yeah, this is really good. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad route at all. Let's get another one here. Let's get one of these uh, shadow cards here. It's for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. Procrastination, uh, procrastination. So if you've been procrastinating on something, Pisces, get, go out there and get it done, okay? <laughs> Putting things off becomes a bad habit. So use the management strategy, time management strategies. Yeah, so, I, you know, I feel that there could be something that you've been putting off and you need to get to it, all right? Before, you don't want to get, you don't want to put it off too long, all right? You might have a couple more days, but um, it's just best to get it done, you know, <laughs> and over with so you don't forget about it. <laughs> All right. And let's get one of these here. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Do it your way. I like that. Do it your way. You were never meant to fit in. You were born to be wild and a free force of nature. Here to build new and better worlds. Allow yourself to go and do that. <laughs> I like that. Awesome. All right. And let's get one of these witch runes here. And let's go now with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. Oh, you got the water rune. You know, and I, I'm so glad I got this book, you guys. Oh my gosh, it just makes so much better sense. But this is a very positive rune, this. It is. Let's, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what it says here. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, here we are. Oh, it's called Waves. Okay. 
So the wave rune signifies fluidity, flexibility, and the ability to navigate life's challenges with ease. Like the rhythmic movement of waves upon the shore, it encourages us to embrace change and go with the flow, trusting our ability to adapt to whatever comes our way. All right. I like that. Well, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get right over here into Barcana now, and we're going to see what's going on with, with uh, you guys. So, what's going on with Barcana? This is for Pisces. I'm going to grab the runes here. <laughs> this is for Pisces, born March 15th to March 20th. Mmm, Gable. Wow, Gable. I like Gable. Pisces, uh, Gable is talking about blessings and gifts. Um, so, you know, you've got some kind of blessing, you know, some sort of blessing. Yeah, some sort of blessing or gift. Yeah. I feel that you have some sort of a blessing and gift that you may be able to help somebody with. What else is going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Gort. Gort. Well, I like Gort. Gort's not too bad. I, I think that's um, some sort of ivy or something. Let's see. Um. Where's Gort? <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, it's the ivy. This is the ivy. Um, and the meaning of this is spirals, stubbornness, wildness, development, abundance, gratitude, rest, and reawakening. And see, look at this is abundance. Yeah. It's very good. I like Gable. Gable's an awesome... Um, Awesome uh, rune. Um, beautiful curves of ivy symbolize our soul search for the meaning, our DNA, and galaxies in the universe. Celts saw spirals as representatives of life and soul, showing us how we can grow and expand. Ivies represent ambition with its ability to grow under conditions that most plants cannot survive. Use your unique abilities to overcome obstacles that seem impossible while pursuing your goals and dreams. Be persistent even if growth or progress may seem slow. Yeah, and it's also telling you to get some sleep. It's really important to get your sleep so you can stay regular. So I really like that one. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Let's get one of these shadow cards and see what else. What's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Being the victim. Mm. Being the victim. Blaming external factors for your problems. Yeah, be, be culpable for your actions. So I like those, uh, these shadow cards, you know, they kind of make you think. <laughs> they do me. Sometimes I'll get a card like that and it'll make me think. I'm like, huh. Yeah, let's get one of these cards here. What's going on with Pisces? Born March 15th to March 20th. Wild and wonderful. I like this. 
Why focus on limitations and realism? Breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplainable and illogical magic happens every day. I like that. Good, good card. Let's see what the witch runes say. What's going on with Pisces? We're on March 15th to March 20th. Ah, the moon. And that came out came out in the upright for sure. Whoops. Alright, so let's see what the moon has to say. I just passed it. The moon rune represents intuition, inner guidance, and the exploration of the unknown. Like the phases of the moon, it encourages us to embrace our inner wisdom and trust our instincts, even in times of uncertainty. Wow, really good, really good reading, you guys. Good, 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 good day. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.